Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and we're back with another Redline Tuesday. I don't have a uh, email or a link for this one, but you know who you are, so we're just going to get started. Um, I should also mention that I cropped this one from the original. There was like some text above it, like it kind of looked like a little bit of a comic book cover or something in progress. So I uh, I just cropped out the text because I am not a typographer. <laughs> And I would have uh, done you no justice. So I'm just going to be working on one side of this. I've actually had um, quite a few of these lately where, just turn my lace and zoom me down. I've had quite a few of these lately where the character's been facing forward. Which is fine, I'm not like saying, you know, you can't send them or anything. Oh, so that's, that's interesting. You've... I think if I'm looking at this correctly, you've kind of put the bottom of the the pectorals like right at line with the armpit. Yeah, because that's the I think that's supposed to be the clavicle right there, which this is really high to be ending the um the pecs. They you actually it's kind of interesting on the contour you've sort of drawn uh the pecs right here, like on the outside contour, so that's kind of what I'm following a little bit. Eh. A little bit harder eraser. He sort of reminds me of, um, Dante from Devil May Cry. Let me get a little closer here. So, um, for the arms, I've kind of uh, lengthened them from the original a little bit. They they kind of taper down um, with the body. In kind of a strange way. Not really sure how, how to explain it, but like r rather than kind of coming out in perspective, which they are seemingly like away from the body, because I think these swords are supposed to be like crossing in front of the body down here. Um, they kind of like taper down, 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 like following the perspective of the body in the background. So I'm trying to like. Um, push them out a little bit. <laughs> and I should mention, as always, that this is my first drawing for the day. I tend to warm up on Red Line Tuesdays. I'm not sure. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Oops, that's all I wanted. 
¿vale? For now, I'm not going to uh, overcomplicate the hand too much. I'm going to kind of push it back a little bit like that. I don't know. I think that looks okay. I'll bulk him up just a teeny tiny bit. He also kind of reminds me of, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't be saying this, it's kind of considered rude to be like, your character reminds me of so-and-so. I remember there was kind of like this movement on the, the internet for a while. I don't know what's become of it, but where people were like, don't compare people's characters to other characters and things like that. But anyway, he reminds me a little bit of the way some, some artists draw Kenny from South Park without his hood. I'm just going to put a mark there for the mouth and a mark for the nose, but I'm going to wait and do them. I'm going to wait and do the mouth and nose till the end just because they're not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not like like a mirror image, like they're a little offset. Same with the hair. I try not to do this where I have like these like little scratches around the side. I try to keep things pretty smooth so you can kind of see what I'm going for, but sometimes it's not always looking here. I should really clean this all up so it's a little easier to, to read, but...
Now, I uh, I don't have very much of like an anime uh, style. So I do tend to draw my characters maybe a little bulkier than than say the way an anime character might be drawn. That's not to say that you know they don't draw bulky characters. I'm just saying this is you know how I draw, but But if you're going for something a little different, just slim them back up a little bit. Trim the fat off my character. Or the way I've drawn your character. <laughs> it's not my character. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's draw the sword. I have to think here. Okay, that's good. I had to look in my navigator to make sure this was going to be okay. Not sure what kind of sword this is supposed to be. Maybe like a samurai sword? So I'll try to make this a little more oval. And then, uh... <laughs> Don't do what Emmy's doing here, but if you're drawing a true samurai sword, look up the pattern. It's way more complicated than I'm, but you'll, a lot of times you'll see it just like simplified to like a basket weave kind of a pattern. But that's that's not truly, uh, that's not good. That's not the way it's supposed to be. So, but yeah, look up the pattern if you're doing a samurai sword, but I don't know. I don't think you are because... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but that's a uh... that is not a good uh, pattern for a uh, samurai sword. Again, I'm not really sh sure if this is like a scimitar or what, but I'm just kind of drawing like a general funky fantasy sword. And I realize this like hand guard is off at a weird angle, but I'm just kind of going with it for funsies. I'm sure I'm going to get somebody in the comments who's like, no, it's very serious sword making. Okay, okay. Let's mirror our character here. Now I realize that if you're not working digitally, you might not be able to do such a thing like this, like mirroring, mirroring the character so easily. But there's ways around it, like you can draw really heavy and lead or charcoal on a piece of paper on one side side and then like fold it in half and rub it and you'll get like an impression of the character on the other half of the paper and you can kind of go and uh, refine it.
but in Photoshop or other digital drawing programs it's pretty easy to to skirt around that and just like mirror draw it one way duplicate the layer and then mirror it mirror the duplicated layer and then you get uh, you get this I actually worry that I draw too many front-facing characters, so I've been trying to, like, get out of it a little bit. Actually, the shine should be going that way now. Set his jaw a little too hard, I think. <laughs> now it looks like he's got mutton chops. Oops. So I like to, uh, even when I'm drawing kind of like uh, anime hair, which yeah, it depends on what school of anime you're watching. I, I like to have like a starting point, like a, uh, what do you call that, like little spiral where the hair begins, like, um, where not necessarily begins, but the hair sort of radiates from like a, a part. I used to know the word for that. <laughs> That way the hair doesn't seem like it's kind of coming off all willy-nilly in every direction. Like, that there's some order. There we go. And just like with um, other things in the body, you want to kind of build a structure for clothing, like hoodies and things of that nature. I can't remember, do, do men's jackets button that way? I'm trying to see, I have a jacket that buttons that way, and I definitely know that that's a jacket made for, well, it doesn't matter, whatever, he can button whatever way he wants. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not sure what kind of sleeveys he has on. I guess I'll just give him like a muscle hoodie. Something like that. But uh, that'll do it for this one. That's about as much information as I have 
that I can correct. I made hit, may have made his eyes a little too, I don't know. Doll-like, maybe? I don't know, he looks really like... straight lines on there. I don't know. Oh well. I think it's cute. And hopefully the kind of chestal arm anatomy. I think that this is supposed to be the belly button and if he's like leaning forward at all the belly button's actually like more there. Um, you're getting into like crotch territory here so just be mindful of that. Yeah, okay. I was just sort of checking. Look at my terrible butter knife sword. So, well, I'm not here to draw swords. I'm here to draw bodies. <laughs> okay, so that'll do it for this one. Uh, you can keep sending your online Tuesdays into introducing or emmy.bitner at introducingemmy.com. The email address is in my banner. Um, and if I haven't gotten to yours yet, that either means one of two or three things. One, I think it's traced from some other source and I, I've done like two of those now and I'm not doing those anymore. Um, two, I've already done yours. Or three, I just haven't gotten to it yet. I have a lot to go through still and I'm I'm backlogged like a year's worth of, <laughs> of red lines. So I'm trying to get through them in a fairly timely manner but if you're like really desperate to get yours redlined, I will do paid redlines for like 15 bucks. I'll like look at your anatomy and give you a pretty detailed um, breakdown of your stuff. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Uh, that's good, especially if you're like you've got a project coming up and you're on a deadline and you know you need like somebody to look over your work in like a week <laughs> or something like that, or even a day. So, uh, but if you don't want to pay and you're just kind of waiting for yours to come be bopping through my system then you're good so probably no problem alrighty well I will uh, see you guys next time bye